scored another goal, our second goal of the FIFA Women's Soccer Final Championship game. Hey, pretty baby, am I in your way? Cause you walked out so fast yesterday, no. So tell me what you want, tell me how you want it. Tell me how, how do I look? Uh, you look good. Mm. Okay. Uh, look at your shirt. His name is Gatsby. That dog's name is Gatsby. He That's is. a real size, real size picture of Gatsby. Tell the viewers where you got that from. I got it from um, vlogs after college. His name is Rian. No, Ryan, Rian, but he's got a dog, his name is Gatsby, and he's got a vlog on YouTube. Pretty cool. Um. Happy July 4th. Yeah, happy July 4th. Low-key day for us today. We're not doing anything. Um, it's been kind of raining on and off, so we're not going to grill. That was kind of the original plan. We're not going to do that. Uh, we're just going to go to the store to get some food to eat. And then we're going to binge watch Stranger Things. We are spending our evening watching Stranger Things. We're on episode five, four, or five now. Um, so far, it's pretty good. But this guy right here, he fell asleep. So happy Saturday! Happy Saturday! Is that idiot? Oh, <laughs> happy Saturday! We are headed to the Little Mekong Night Market. Yeah. Some food. Go grab some dinner. We were uh, we weren't gonna go, but then last minute change of plans, we decided to go. Let me give you my drink. Your drink? Yeah. Are you gonna do the cucumber melon? Well, you did the mojito. Uh, yeah, I did. So I can do that one. Right? Wait, what? I can do the mojito. stay at the little Mekong night market as long as we wanted to. We were there for about an hour and then we decided to leave because it was so packed. It got packed really fast. Yeah. It's like Black Friday at Best Buy. Yeah. It was like, it was okay the first 10, 15 minutes and then um, all of a sudden it got super packed. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like state fair packed where you're brushing shoulders and there's strollers everywhere. And I was afraid for my feet because I'm in sandals. I was afraid my feet was gonna get rolled over by a bunch of strollers. Um, so it just it just got it just got too much. So we decided just to go catch some um, dinner. We went to go have dim sum, and then um, now we are just gonna go be spontaneous. Hi. Oh, I see it. Oh, this is a nice picture. Right here. You 
ready? Okay, Moana, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Okay, Moana. You look tired. I'm exhausted. Nap time. Nap time? Yeah. Might as well go to sleep. It's like 8, 8 p.m. and he wants to take a nap. Just shut the control. We are home now. Just laying low. That guy over there, he's playing video games. Should I record you playing video games? Yeah. Okay. Please. So, I will do that. But first, let me tell you guys, you should read this book. It's a really good book. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, called Wolfpack by Abby Wambach. Um, how to come together, unleash our power, and change the game. Probably a little dark in here, but it will do. So, anyways, so this book, really good book. I encourage you to read it. Um, it's a very inspiring book. I finished it in an hour. Very easy to read. It's about 100 and some pages. Uh, let's see. Yeah, actually, okay, not barely. It's like just shy of 100 pages. Um, so basically she talks about some of the rules that we have today um, and what the rules should change to. So for example, the first rule that she talks about is um, you were always the wolf. So in her commencement speech, if you do watch it, she talks about how women in society, we are taught to uh, be, you know, the story Little Red Riding Hood. So we're, we're raised and we're taught to be Little Red Riding Hood. So for example, stay on the path uh, because it's safe, because it's already a path that's been created. Um, don't venture off and, you know, things like that. So, um, but obviously as you guys probably know in this story, um, Little Red Riding Hood is um, kind of targeted by this wolf. Um, so basically the first rule is saying, you are the wolf. We are taught to believe that we are Little Red Riding Hood when really we are the wolves. Um, so the first rule is, um, or the old rule is stay on the path. The new rule is create your own path. So in that chapter, she talks about not being afraid to venture off, not being afraid to be the wolf, not being afraid to um, you know, do what you believe in and things like that. Um, let's see, I'll just continue to skip through. Okay, so this one I really like um, because she talks about, uh, so if you know her, she's a, or was a soccer player. She's retired now, right? Pretty sure she's retired now. Mm -hmm. He's right there. She's on that. I guess. Um, so she references Abby, Abby not Abby Amy. Wabak. Um, she references her book a lot to um, soccer, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, so this chapter in chapter four, she talks about making failure your feel. She um, shares a story and experience of when she first joined the women's soccer team, or you know the yeah. Um, the United States women's soccer team. Uh, and she talks about how she was like the newbie. Um, and in the locker room, every time when you were going to walk out of the locker room, behind the door there was a picture. So in that picture, it was when the United States was defeated by another team. Um, and actually that picture was of the other team celebrating their victory over the United States. So she had asked the veteran players you know, why would you guys put a picture of you guys being defeated and the other team cheering in victory on this door in your own locker room? And the um, veteran players basically said, you know, in order for you to be great, you have to remember the time when you failed, right? So for me, like it resonated because it um, reminded me of, you know, yeah, you win sometimes, but you lose sometimes, and you have to remember to stay humble, you have to remember to stay hungry. Um, so, the old rule is 
failure means you are out of the game. But her new rule that she's encouraging all of us is that you know failure actually means that you are finally in the game. So I thought that was a really cool concept. Um, really good book, very inspiring. I did take the time to actually watch and listen to her commencement speech, um, which you know this book was based off of, like I mentioned earlier. Um, it is a very good speech. A lot of the um, stories that she shares in that speech, it is actually on paper in this book as well too. There's probably a little bit more detail in the book itself, but um, they are in that speech too. So if you're not really sure that you want to pick up this book, um, maybe check out the speech first and then see if you like it, see if you're vibing with her, and then get the book. Watch me on those fools. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going around and I'm looking for weapons. Weapons that I can go around and pretty much kill everybody. So the goal of this game is to be the last one standing. And you start in the map. What game are you playing anyways? It's called PUBG. PUBG. You start with nothing and you go around in the map and you try to look for weapons. And there are a hundred people playing with you. And then you can play in teams of two, teams of three, or you can be all by yourself, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm playing all by myself because none of my friends wants to play with me. So sad. But anyway, you go around, look for weapons, and you just want to be down to number one. Pretty simple. So kind of like Hunger Games. Hmm? Kind of like Hunger Games. It is exactly like Hunger Games. Just want to go and be the first one. You want to be the last one? You to be the last one standing. Still alive. Here's a map. So the map starts all over here. And as time goes by, the maps, the blue zone comes in. So you want to stay away from the blue zone. Otherwise, it's going to take some of your health. And you're pretty much gonna die if you stay in the blue zone. Tell me what you want, tell me how you want it Tell me all the reasons that you're running away 